very proud of what Lewis has become. Faculty and staff and administrators who really are very competent, dedicated, scholarly. The university community is all about people. Welcome to Lewis Spotlight. My name is Scott Trost, the head basketball coach here at Lewis University. Lewis head men's basketball coach Scott Trost. Scott Trost. Scott Trost. I don't think you can you can teach experience. Obviously, that's a good thing for us. I grew up in uh, Appleton, Minnesota, a town of 1800, a uh, real remote town. Growing up, again, I think I liked the sport that was whatever season it was. You know, in the fall you want to play football, and in the winter you want to play basketball, and then in the, in the spring you want to play baseball. But from a young age, I liked basketball. I saw, I remember seeing it on TV, uh, Final Four with Larry Bird and Magic Johnson and guys like that, and uh, just kind of decided at that time I wanted to try and play. Like I said, I wasn't a great player. Tried to play in college for a year and, and football at the same time and got hurt. And then I think that kind of led to my coaching career. But certainly loved to play the sport, loved to play it in high school. We were, had some success. You know, I have learned and met a lot of people through the sport of basketball. But uh, I think I liked whatever sport it was and whatever season it was. But uh, certainly basketball is a favorite of mine. When did I realize I wanted to be involved in coaching? I think I was watching it in like eighth or ninth grade on TV and you see these guys as a Larry Bird, Indiana State, Michigan State game and just kind of like seeing the excitement and stuff like that on TV. Thought it looked fun. Went to uh, University of Minnesota Morris, a small school in West Central Minnesota. Played football and basketball for a year and then got hurt. You know, in, in college went into uh, physical education thinking hopefully that would lead to a, to a coaching career and I didn't actually end up teaching in high school but uh, went right into getting my masters got me where I am today most interesting thing that happened to me in coaching that's tough I mean I've, I've been fortunate to have been involved in a lot of really uh, you know exciting things positive things I think uh, had an experience of coaching at the University of Michigan Illinois Wesleyan uh, a Division three school and had an opportunity to coach in a Final Four, which was uh, a really neat experience. And then uh, coming here and you know, working in this environment and, and having the success we've had. The culture here at Lewis, I think, is a little bit different. It's obviously a Catholic or LaSallean institution. The other schools I've been at, uh, Illinois Wesleyan uh, was a Methodist school. University of Michigan, obviously, is, is, is a public school. so been at a bunch of different schools but I would say it's probably more mission based and mission driven here at Lewis University than, than the other schools that I've worked at but uh, I think at the end of the day I think the most important thing and I've, like I said I've been fortunate to have been at some really good institutions the people you work with here are, have been fantastic they have a sincere care about their students I've been fortunate to have worked for two really good athletic directors as well that that I think get it and been very very supportive this is a great place to work I've had very, very good kids and very good young men to work with. So I've been fortunate to have coached at some really good institutions and, and have had some good success. And then I think ultimately it, it comes down to working with quality young men and, and having an impact on their lives. And the guys that you've met, come in contact with, and stay in touch with today is, is probably the most impactful thing. I ended up at Lewis, and uh, it's a long story, but uh, my coaching career like I said earlier, it's who you network with. That's how I got this job. And I think, like I said, if, if there's some advice that I could give students, it would be you never know who you meet along the way or along your journey that's going to help you. I did graduate work at Illinois State, and when I was at Illinois State, I coached for somebody, uh, a head coach at Illinois Wesleyan. Well, the coach at Illinois Wesleyan got me my next job at Mankato State. I went from Mankato State to Elmhurst College, and then I went from Elmhurst to the University of Michigan. Along the way, I met people that knew people at Lewis when this job opened. So it was because of who I knew and, and, and people I networked with helped me get this job here at Lewis University. And you know, I've been here going on 10 years and uh, it's been a great run and it's been exciting. Had a lot of success and uh, look forward to, 
to many more years of success here at Lewis. I would say coaching is stressful. I wouldn't say there's pressure to win here. I do think though that myself, I put pressure, pressure on myself. I think basketball is expected to be competitive here at Lewis. I think it was expected to be competitive and win at, at Illinois Wesleyan and then at Michigan. I think obviously there was expectations to win and compete on a national level. So I think there is expectations to be competitive. You know, what I do to, to help relieve that stress, I think the older I've gotten, I've got done a better job of trying to leave work at, at, uh, at the office. If I could change something in my coaching career, I'm not sure that I would change anything, to be honest with you. Like I said, I've been really, really fortunate to have been at some fantastic institutions, come in contact with some great, great players, some great coaches, some great people because of basketball. I think starting my coaching career, my first, what, three or four years out of college, basically worked for nothing. So I had to, again, it gets back to the work ethic and work for everything I've gotten. And I've been fortunate, again, to have been at some really, really good institutions. I don't know if I'd change a lot. I think uh, I've coached at every level, division one, two, and three in the NCAA, and been very, very fortunate that in that regard. One of my proudest moments would be when, when my players who graduate walk across the stage and go on and be successful in their chosen field. I think that's probably what, uh, what makes me happiest, uh, seeing those young men that you've impacted their lives for four years go on and, and be successful. Aside from the success that we've had on the floor, seeing them graduate and be productive, successful citizens is probably what makes me proudest. The most difficult thing to manage during a game would be uh, I think overcoming the emotional output that you have as far as uh, making a, if there's a bad call or a bad play, moving on to the next play and not letting that distract from coaching your team. I think that's, that's probably been the most difficult thing to manage in, in my career. Would I encourage someone to pursue coaching in today's world? I would say uh, if that's what they love to do, go do it. I think it's a, it's a difficult uh, profession to get into something that uh, I do think is very rewarding. It's been very, very positive experience for me, but in today's world, I think it's, it's getting more and more difficult to, to get into. It's also very stressful at times, but I do think that you have the ability to impact uh, young men's lives like, like maybe no other profession. So I would say if somebody wants to do it and loves the sport, go ahead and do it and uh, try and live out your dream. The motto I live by, I guess, would be uh, hard work maybe beats good talent when good talent doesn't work hard, something like that. And, and the other thing, I think players in today's society don't really care how much you know, but they want to know how much you care. A couple little sayings, I think coaching in today's basketball arena is a little bit different than what it was maybe 10, 15 years ago. But I would say maybe those two things. plan for this upcoming season would be uh, be competitive and get better day by day. I think we have a really good, uh, young, talented team. We're a little bit inexperienced, probably the most inexperienced team we've had since I've been here. But I think very, very talented, very, very athletic, uh, high character guys. Uh, it is a tough league though, so we're looking forward to that challenge. But uh, it's a team that I think is going to be better and better as the year goes on and the young guys will get experience and hopefully by conference season, uh, which rolls around January, we'll be a good team. But uh, certainly like our group, I think, you know, in Max Struess, we have one of the premier players in, in this league. We've added some talented newcomers, uh, and then we return a nucleus with Kyle Nelson, Brad Foster, Capel Henshaw, guys that have played meaningful minutes in, in this league. So Max will evolve into a premier player in our league. Brad Foster and Kyle Nelson have played meaningful minutes, like I said, and are going to have to assume more of a role than what they have in the past. Capel Henshaw is going to have to play more meaningful minutes than what he has. But, uh, you know, those are the only four guys that have played any meaningful minutes. We're looking forward to the newcomers. Miles Simulton, a Division I transfer, uh, is very, very talented, has experience at the Division I level. And then three freshmen, Delaney Blaylock, Frank Vukai, and uh, Jake Reinhardt, along with uh, returners uh, David Heckman, uh, Paul Baumgart. I would say those those guys are the main guys that are going to help us uh, uh, compete hopefully for championships. We have a great product and hopefully fans can come out and support Flyer basketball. I think it's going to be an exciting year and look forward to seeing a uh, great turnout at Neil Carey Arena. I know the fan support is, is appreciated. It means a lot to our guys. 
Uh, we've had great crowds in the past and hopefully that continues this season. So look forward to seeing a bunch of students out at Neil Carey Arena this 2015-16 year. But looking forward to, uh, to a good season, an exciting season. Just got to keep working hard, keep getting better. Greatest life lesson that I've uh, probably learned, again, gets back to uh, work ethic and to value the people in your life. Don't take things for granted, but there's, uh, you know, the people around you are, are really, really important. Coaching and basketball and all that stuff, it's my job, but it's not, I would say, who I am. But uh, certainly uh, value the people in your life and, uh, and work hard, and, and I think good things will happen. You learn from each uh, situation that you've been placed in. Uh, there are a lot of, I would say, situations that arise during a year that, that you can't prepare for, that you have to rely on your principles and character and background. But I don't think, you know, I've been, uh, there's been one moment that has, you know, defined me or has taught me anything more than another one. Thank you for joining me on Lewis Spotlight. Hopefully you learned a few valuable life lessons and look forward to seeing uh, Lewis University students out at the Neil Care Arena this coming season.